You missed this in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Look closely and you'll discover a hidden detail in the scene where the Emperor shocks Darth Vader with Force Lightning. As he's hit by the Emperor's Force Lightning, Darth Vader's skeleton becomes visible from several different angles, which reveal the true extent of his injuries. Not only does he have a robotic right arm and a respirator to help him breathe, but he's also had multiple vertebrae replaced. Did you know that in Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring, a very special prop was used for close-ups of the One Ring, like this one of the One Ring sitting in the snow? The prop ring was actually a gigantic one which was easier to film. You missed this in Fight Club. During one of the fight scenes when Tyler Durden is kicked in the face, watch Edward Norton's character in the background. His head moves upward at the exact same time that Tyler is kicked, a subtle nod to the fact that they are actually one person. This scene from Mortal Kombat has more to it than you first noticed. When Kano is repeatedly taken out by sweep kicks, not only is it a great scene, it's also a reference to the original game that came out all the way back in 1992. Players could do the sweep kick move repeatedly and it was almost impossible to avoid. Most considered it to be a cheap move. Did you know that for Interstellar, director Christopher Nolan actually planted 500 acres of corn? He didn't want to use CGI to create the farm, so he used the real thing. After production wrapped, the corn was sold and actually made a profit for the film. You missed this in The Shawshank Redemption. Andy Dufresne breaks out of prison using nothing more than a small rock hammer to chip away at the walls of his cell. But during the day, he has to hide the hammer in one place the guards won't look, inside of a Bible. And not just in a Bible, but more specifically, he's hidden his hammer in the Book of Exodus, which tells of the Israelites escaping Egyptian slavery and literally means departure. You missed this in Parasite. The slick futuristic trash can in the park's house isn't just a prop, it's a real trash can from Germany and it isn't cheap. The director wanted it because of its cinematic lid that would open smoothly and sound like the doors on the Enterprise when it closed. The price of such a high-tech trash can? Over $2,000. You missed this in Wally. As Wally attempts to bring Eve back to life by taking Eve on a date, Wally brings Eve to a romantic overlook where it starts raining. Always thinking of others, Wally holds an umbrella up to prevent Eve from getting wet, which is struck by lightning. The electricity that passes through the umbrella doesn't hurt Wally though, and in fact charges Wally's battery to full. You missed this in Gladiator. When Maximus makes his first appearance in the Colosseum, he asks the men fighting with him if any of them ever served in the army, to which one replies that he served with him at Vindobona. This shows that even though Maximus has been trying to keep his identity a secret, at least one other person has known who he was the entire time and never said a thing, because that's how much respect Maximus commanded from his men. You missed this and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. There's something very special about the character Martini. Not only is he played by a young Danny DeVito, but his character was a pilot in the Vietnam War whose plane was shot down and started to sink in the ocean. Now, whenever he starts to feel nervous, such as during tense scenes in the film, he instinctively puts his feet up on his chair, as if he were still in the flooding cockpit of his plane.